An LSTM cell is composed of four main components, the cell state, the forget gate, the input gate and the output gate. These gates regulate the flow of information through the entire LSTM cell. Of course, we also have the hidden state output H sub T, just like regular RNN. H sub T, which is the hidden state output, is the actual output from the LSTM. For the next time step, this H sub T becomes H sub T minus 1, and the new element in the sequence also is the input, just like an RNN. A cell state, this C sub T, is a crucial element that acts as a memory to store useful information over time. It is considered the long-term memory of the LSTM. This cell state is a vector. Ideally, it has the same length as the length of the vector H sub T minus 1. This part is the forget gate of the LSTM. It controls how much of the previous cell state should be carried forward. So even though its name is forget gate, it controls how much to remember from long-term memory. This is the input gate. It determines how much of the new information should be added to the cell state. This is the output gate. It decides how much of the updated cell state should be used as an output. Let us discuss all these components and see how LSTMs work. A link to the full video is provided in the description or in the comment. Thank you.